start recording that and start recording that. Let's see if I actually can vertically record. It's the first time I've actually going to stress test this uh, graphics card. I have not done vertical recording, basic recording, and streaming all at the same time. We'll see how it goes. I mean, my frames are holding up, but let's get into the game, shall we? We shall. I've also put in 610 hours of this game. Most of my playing was Alpha 14, Alpha 15, and then partly Alpha 16, and now Alpha 21. I'm looking forward to 7 Days I 1.0, so let's get into the game. It's loading. Boop -a doop doop doop. Yeah. Happy Memorial Day, by the way. I know it's Memorial Day weekend, and the actual day is tomorrow, so. I also got a drink to keep me hydrated. I don't have any of my fans running, so I may start to sweat. Not looking forward to that. But we'll see how it goes. It's comfortable right now. We will continue my Tom Trossy save, but we're going to increase the time. And how do I sound volume wise? Because it's a different game. So I don't know how the hell I sound. I think I sound fine. Yeah, you'll have, you guys will let me know if it gets too loud. If you're there. Yeah, we'll roll with it. It's not terribly loud. Alright. Let's get into the game. Load in the game data. Workstations. You can craft many basic items in your inventory. Advanced recipes will require workstations like a forge, workbench, or chemistry station. If a recipe in your backpack shows a small icon, then this will tell you which workstation it is. Yep. Seven days to die. Lots of fun. Lots of memories in this game. Actually... I played with a very amount of YouTubers back in the day with this game. This is I got introduced to this game because of people I met on YouTube. Although, they're not really doing YouTube anymore, unfortunately. But, they're cool dudes, definitely. Miss actively playing with them. So. Alright, everything's being built. Here I am, the Kodak Construction. So... I extended the time because we're going to optimize this building. For those that are not aware, or if you were here at the pre-stream watching me, or watching, yeah, watching me play the game from YouTube, this is my current setup. So I have a house that I have in the distance. I started making a base, essentially. But I have shitty tools to work with. So there's no point in me trying to build the base if I don't have anything that I can optimize on for materials and... All the other things. So, as I said in my YouTube video, I'm going to return this section with scaffolding pieces, upgrade some stuff, and go from there. Without also attracting more zombies. So, this part's going to be a bit boring, essentially. But, we're going to go and optimize my layout, hopefully. No, I just want to take these parts down. We don't need all this excessive wood. Plates are, are something else. I should have realized plates are going to be a bad thing to have. And I don't know why I stuck with using them. Okay. Let's take out this block. Taking out this block will knock everything else out. I think. There we go. That works perfectly because now I have a flat layer for the most part where I can start yeah because then I could put the scaffolding pieces there instead of there okay that's fine with me let's see uh, we'll go 25 pieces we'll go that way change the part the scaffolding ladder 
advanced rotation. Now, there we go. Of course, some jackass has to come after me as I'm working. I think I got a baseball bat. My guy, I'm busy. Leave me alone. It's gonna happen throughout the night. So, that I do expect. We're gonna definitely get attacked as we're optimizing this area. I'm just putting these down so I have a complete level... Complete level area, essentially. So put that down... Put that down. Because then I can put that down like that. Okay. And I'm going to be taking the scaffolding pieces out from the other section at some point. I'm just putting these in place just to have a completely leveled layer of stuff. Okay. So, that's everything, in terms of scaffolding, because now I have full perimeter access with the scaffolding. I may make it too wide, I don't know yet. We'll see. Let's just upgrade this. I don't have any cobblestone on hand. I. No, no, I might have a little bit, but not a whole lot where I could just start optimizing on pieces. Okay, so that's all in place. You're just wood. Okay. That's what I need to take out. Okay, hold on. Take out this ladder. Because while it's been a nice little entryway here, it's not ideal. Because we need to actually have actual blocks. Oh, yeah, I'm still recovering from a uh, abrasion I got in my gameplay video, which should be going live in about a couple hours or so. Now, I don't want to destroy the block. I want to destroy that thing. Okay, now that's destroyed. I could do this. Alright, and then we gotta turn the block back into blocks. There we go. And I can upgrade that. Okay. Which then turns into that, which then turns into that. And then I gotta make a couple ladders. All right, we're getting we're getting stuff done. That's what matters. Ladder pieces. Here we go. Okay, put those in, and then upgrade that. Cool. Now it feels a little more solidified. Next thing I want to do is start building scaffolding around because I'm going to start putting in farm plots and more dew collectors right here. Because this is telling the house portion of the base. Although I don't really want this to be a base. I want this to just be a house. Essentially. So. Let me get back to this. Turn you into that. And advance rotate. Okay. I do
do need to have an opening in between. So you're telling the middle. Uh, copy shape. And then copy rotation to then do that. Because I do need to have it way in and out. Okay, so let me craft another what? 25 pieces. Okay. Okay, good. And on this side, I guess it's more or less needs to be like that. I'll fix it because I do have them turn upside down technically. Yeah, let me fix this. Things I do for silliness. Okay, so. Yeah, now. I need to rotate. Come on, there we go. No, there we go. All right, got it. Because we want to have entryway to get in and out of the perimeter, right? So we want to be able to get in and out without any issues. And then, no. And then we turn it around. Come on. Come on, there we go. Weird. Can't put it on the corner. Huh. That's bizarre. Why is that? Huh. Okay, so then, you know what? We'll leave the core pieces open. Why make it complicated? Yeah. Why complicate it? Okay. And now we gotta flip it around. Yeah. Okay. This this will be fine then. It's whatever. All right. We got the pieces in. That's what matters. So the reason why I'm putting scalpings around is because at some point we're gonna get attacked by birds. So I do want to have coverage for the bir from the birds for my dew collectors and other necessities. Okay. Why am I... That's weird. Okay. Back to this. All right. Oh, I know why I struggle to jump because these are totally ladders too. Keep that in mind. 
So I can scroll up and it's actually a ladder wall. That makes sense. So maybe have them the other way around would make more sense. Because it's just going to be a... It's going to act like a ladder. You're right. Let me grab all these. So, just to give you guys an idea, I'm still learning Alpha 21. Gotta remember, I came from Alpha 16, so I had no uh, pre-notion or conception of this game to start with. I also need to eat. Lady, stop it! I'm busy! You saw me working upstairs. Why? What? Why? Don't do that. Uh, you should have seen what, I ha what this was earlier. I didn't have all the ceiling down yet, so I had zombies constantly coming in because of the openings. So that was not fun. Alright, we're going to need to eat big. So I'm going to use the steak and potato meal, finally. Gain my hunger back. And I still got water on hand. So I'm going to drink those. Because I still need to fix this area. So, but that's fine. Alright, so we ate. Got some drink. We'll see how much food we recover because I may have to go fix that. Okay. So let me knock this out. Because I, I, I'm not a fan of these frames, honestly. These frames just ruin everything. But it's also my fault. I picked this house as like a starting ground. I wanted to make it a little difficult. There we go. Cobblestone to fix that. And it's going to take a while to get rid of these plates. Okay. Alright, so I've got 29 blocks to work with. Let's turn them into scaffolding. Keep them that shape. Actually, keep that open. Right? That makes sense to me. And then we gotta rotate that. Right? Yeah, that makes sense. Really trying to get this down. Okay. Because then. Oh, because it's the other way. You'll be able to climb. How do you know the exact position of the ladders? Like, it bothers me I don't know the position of these ladders. Because I want to make them act like a ladder. So if I'm going to... Okay, so that, that does act like a ladder on that side. Okay, so I had the right orientation for the front. I just didn't have the right orientation for the... For the others, for the siding. Okay. Alright, so, put that down.
right? Am I? Okay, good. Because we don't want them to climb up. We want them to stay outside. Okay. I got something. So those are up. I think three high should be enough. I think. All right. So if I were to put that there. Okay, so that's the outside. I still got now got these plates. Now I gotta get the orientation correct for that. Is that okay? That's the correct orientation. Okay. Just wanna make sure I have orientations correct. And I gotta get this side at some point. Um Maybe to solve the issue. Can I put a block? Because I forgot, the scaffolding's acting like a block. So. I mean, I could just put a block there. So then when I put scaffolding pieces there, it's not a big deal. But it just looks off. So why don't I just do it this way? So get rid of that, get rid of that. And then we know a block will be put right there and there. I guess our makeshift wall? Kind of? Because it's going to be like that way for the other side. So if I were to put a block there and there, it would work. In favor? No. Uh, we'll figure this out. It's going to take me time to figure this out. It is what it is. Okay. Well, let's go fix up the rest of the area. Let's knock out all this stuff. Alright, so that's knocked out. Knock this out. Hmm. No, don't take out those blocks. Land claim block. Craft one of those. Because I don't want zombies to respawn by removing that from up there to down below. I think that's where it needs to line up. Yeah. Alright, so scrap. Put that there. Put that in. Because then that is your room. Okay. Good. 
All right. So new clean block, land clean block is there now. All right. Awesome. Okay. Now to knock this shit out. Damn it. That's why I need better tools. Uh. Yeah, like I said, I know it's a little bit boring, but I gotta get it done. So I figure I knock out some stuff. While I can. We're almost through it, though. And then I'll show you what my other file looks like. That's all knocked out. Okay. So if I go to my resource box, what I have left for cobblestone. skill points I gotta use. That's fine with me. Just keep it all together. Get up the ladder. All right, so that's fixed. I do need to fix up that dirt. Which you're the farm plot. Are you the? I don't know if I have dirt. Do I have dirt still? I do. Give me that. Put that away for now. Come down with me. Okay. That's fixed. Just want to double check. Yeah, because I did fix all this prior. Okay. So we're not just play it out, and then we're gonna start using the skill points. I gotta see what I need to skill tree me up. Mm. Yeah, this took a while to knock out too. Anyways, um, now let me get inside. I don't want to get jumped. Okay, so I know I needed it in parkour. So there we go. Now I can do two blocks high jumping. I still have one other point. What the hell am I going to put it in? Hmm. Four two I'm suffering in right now. Same thing with strength. Maybe just another point in strength. And then I need to invest in more in Pumble Pete, I believe. Okay. Alright. So, that's done for now. Okay. Um, put you down. Knock 
this out. Yeah, because this takes care of all the wood bullshit. Alright, so that's out of the way. Cobblestone or clay? Really? Let me get some clay then. Because I got plenty of clay at least. Then that's all fixed. Awesome. Okay. No, give me down the ladder. Give me down the ladder. There we go. All right. Put that away. Put the dirt away in there. I do need to get more stone. We do need to make some food. And do another steak and eggs. No. How much do I need? Oh, I need potato, not egg. Go oh, egg. I don't have. I don't have a potato, so I can't do any of that. The eggs I can use, because then I can make bacon and eggs and all that. Grilled meat, we can make that. Okay. Just need to get food figured out. Uh. Drink the red tea for now, just to boost myself. Finish smelting down this iron. And then go from there. Alright, you close for now. Continue knocking out these panels. And then we're going to have to call it. And then we'll switch games. Well, we'll we'll switch save files first. should be done. I need to still get a anvil at some point. Let's start eating because I'm hungry. That in theory should fill us all the way up. And then yeah. I think that's it for now.
case I ever get jumped. go so that when this is up there we go okay put that away for now uh, is food almost done yeah food's almost done and we're just about to call it Come on. Oh, I know that was boring and tedious, but I had to get some stuff figured out. Got to set, set myself up for the next time I film this, essentially. But we'll, we'll switch to something funnier soon enough. All right, all right. And just to put in perspective how much I've explored in this version. So here's the map of this version, right? And then we'll go explore the other file. Alright, turn that in. Nope, turn that up. Can't climb ladders. Come on, climb. Alright. So we'll say goodbye to this save for now. Great music. Alright. Now let's go to the other save that I got going on. This one is exactly 120. Oh, hey! How's it going, MTF Blaze? Just missed the sort of boring part of Seven Days to Die. I was optimizing a file of mine that I have for YouTube. So now I'm switching to my offline file. Building environment. Here we go. Alright. So, just to give a better idea of what I've been doing here. I've had a lot more time to explore this one. I also have a mini bike. I do have a bicycle. And I have better equipment on hand. I was also cooking food in this version, too. But, yeah. So, this is the offline version I typically play. I got water set up. Or extra water because I have three water dew collectors up here. I got farm plants here, trees here. Got various things in this survival crafting horror game. So, the mini bikes should be outside. Yeah, it's a lot less difficult in the in the other game I'm playing because I didn't start off with a construction house. I just I took over this house. But, just figured I'd do a quick showing of that. Do I have any jobs active? No. I don't have any jobs active at the moment. Because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing with this version right now. That's done. Didn't mean to do that. That was terrible of me. Because I just lost all that cornbread. Whoops. I don't have my stupid hammer on hand. Uh, just so that doesn't happen again, because that was dumb of me. Build a campfire. Put that away. Scrap that. Put that down. Yeah, I'll have to fix that. I clearly screwed up on that one. So anyways, that was Seven Days Die. Survival horror crafting game. Anywho, we're going to be switching to Crash Bandicoot. So, give me a second to get that set up. In the meantime, how's it going? MTF, MTF Blaze, anything new? Anything exciting? No? Let me know. Let me know. Because this game should have... 
Partial controller support. Okay. Let's see. No. All right. We'll see how it plays. I don't know the controls for it, but we'll we'll figure it as we go. Turn that on. Now switch from that to crash. Go away. Crash Bandicoot. Insane. Okay. How do you not have it? What? Categories are weird on, on Twitch. No, it's not not found. All right, so then we're just going to do Crash Bandicoot 1. Because that's weird. All right. It is what it is. Good, I'm also streaming right now. Oh, that's cool. What are you streaming? What are you streaming? Okay. Let's see what Crash is up to. Okay. There we go. Activision presents a smashing blast from the past. Uh huh. Okay. Developed by Vicarious Visions. Vicarious Visions. Interesting. Farming Simulator Twenty Two. All right. Oh, this is a definitely silly intro. Alright, so it does have controller support. It's Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex strikes back. It's Crash Bandicoot. Okay, interesting. I didn't realize Cortex was going to announce all the games constantly. Alright, options. Nope. Window full screen. Apply. Okay, good. That's better. Alright, so let's go ahead and play Crash Bandicoot 1. I've played this game before, as I said, beginning of the stream, but I only played it on PlayStation 1. I wanted to own it on PSP. Just never, I never really played the game thoroughly. Never completed it 100%, just surface level details. So let's see how it plays with an Xbox controller. But Dr. Cortex. We haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> uh, I probably put, should probably this put subtitles on. Be my general, and he will lead my cortex Oops. commandos to world domination. This time, I shall reign triumphant. <laughs> we are closer than ever before. Quickly, into the vortex. <laughs> Dr. Cortex... <laughs> the Vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. <laughs> well, clearly it failed. Failure again. <laughs> Capture him. Uh oh. And Crash escapes. Prepare the field. But not his girlfriend. Cool. 
I always thought the human characters looked weird in this game, too. Anyways. Here we go. Crash Bandicoot. Alright. Let's see. Okay. What are the controls? Mm. No. System options. Gamepad controls. Status, inventory, crouch, slide, jump, spin, move. Oh. You can use D-pad to move. That's good. Good to know. Music, speech level, that's okay. Wait, is there any... Uh, bloom? I'd rather not have bloom on. Oh, no. Mer motion blur I don't want on. Bloom, stay on. Bloom produces a highlight uh, and brightly lit... Yeah, that's fine. Fur blur? Fur blur adds blur to furry objects to simulate... That's fine. Uh, nothing about subtitles. I'm going to have to do that in... Okay. Huh. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. No subtitles. Let's go back to the beginning of the screen. Alright. I know I'm going to get these Wumba fruit. So that's something. And a life. Cool. How do I sound, by the way? Does the game sound good along with my voice? Do I need to change anything? To jump, to spin for inventory. Oops. <laughs> that was stupid of me. I think I'll probably play with D-pad instead of control stick. Nearly failed that again. Here we go. Give me those. A better mask. No life. All right, cool. Checkpoint. Awesome. All right, so music change. That's cool. Yeah, so this game visually looks really cool. I like how it looks. Obviously, if I grab that mask, I'm going to turn into Super... Uh... the hell's the mask's name? I don't, I don't even know off the top of my head. Anyways, I know I'll turn into something... I'll go Super, essentially. Or Invincibility for a moment. Um... Yeah, no, the original graphics back in the day with the game was fun to play. So... Visually, this looks great, too. Here we go. Alright. I believe there's two paths we can go down. And then... Okay, this is the challenging part, because now I gotta hit the boxes. Alright. Uh... And I missed a box. Yep. Oof. That's a bit rough. Give me the mask. In a single level, spin an enemy into another enemy twice. Oh, well. Interesting. There we go. Gotta get those, uh, Wumpa apples. Wumpa fruit. 
just so I can keep getting a life. Alright, got that. Awesome. Yep, alright, so I gotta do this again. Let's see if I can nail it. Yeah, the D-pad definitely works well for that scenario. And if we go back this way... It's weird going backwards. Okay, good. Alright. So we got, I think, all the boxes. I know... The, I know Objectively, you have to get boxes to get the gems. That much I do know. Whether it's gem crystal pieces or actual gemstones or whatever. But hey, we got through the first stage 100%. So no boxes are going to fall down and hit crash. Bada ba. Oh, I didn't get the key though. I didn't know there was a key in the, in the stage. So I don't know everything. All right. And that's the overworld. It's to Stormy Ascension. Sanity Beach. What's this? To End Sanity Beach. Stormy Ascension. Was this the special stage? Yeah, this this is the most difficult stage. I heard about this stage. I mean, I'm definitely not ready for it, but we're going to try it. Watch over the scientists. Get out of here. Yeah, this stage was, uh, I think, a uh, lost content of some kind, if I remember. It, it's, again, it's the most difficult stage, I think, for the original game. It requires a lot of precision jumping and all that. And really well-timed platforming. Yeah. Okay, so I got one of his heads. Which leads to a bonus stage. Okay, so now I just got to time this. Job for the scientists. Oh, you bastard. I lost one of my mask. Okay. Gets me up here. And then I can get my box like that. Climb up this way. Climb up this way. Jump on the bird. Ow. The bird does spawn back over time. It has to, yeah. Because you gotta use the bird to jump to the platform. There we go. Well, I mean, at least made it to the first checkpoint. So that's something. Alright. Let's see. Whoop. Whoop. That was weird. All 
Alright, so I don't have any more safety nets. Got it. Oh. Okay, I see. Interesting. Alright. Got through there. Then we gotta jump on this bird to get to the next platform. Got it. And then up this way, dodge the hands. Okay, those steps last a little longer than I thought. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um... Yeah, this definitely comes down to timing. Oh, I died. Alright. First death. It happens. Let's see. Give those wampa fruit. Okay, jump on bird. Jump this way. Okay, kill those guys. I didn't know you can or not. Alright, gotta time this. There we go. Got it. Okay. Music's catchy, at least. I don't mind the, the soundtrack song for this stage. Nope. Trying to understand the timing. Because I gotta time it just just right with the guy throwing potions. Okay. Okay, gross. Just gotta hop on the bird. That thing got on there. All right, just stuck on this part. Okay, let's see. Got him. There we go. Alright, got two heads and I got a mask. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right, now I got time and jump on two birds. Got it. Nothing there. Okay. Oh, we made the next checkpoint, so that's that's progress. like tongues that go in and out. Oh, this damn scientist throwing more potions again. Bastard. Okay, I got rid of him.
Okay, that didn't work as I, as I thought it was going to be. Okay, let's see. So I lost my mask, but we got two checkpoints. Okay. Oh. Okay, that worked. I thought I was going to hit those spikes. Whew. Okay. So I got to hop over that and time it with the platform. Hmm. Okay, I see the window of opportunity. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? How did my jump not make that? Alright, let's try again. Oh, what the... Timing was just not there. Got it. Yeah, how the hell did I survive the first time? I didn't even jump it. Okay. I barely hit that, but okay. I mean, if I fail this, we're gonna just go right back to the regular game. I just want to get a crack at this, at least. Oh, I got a mask. That's cool. Got another, another life at least. Okay, got the life. All right, now I got time this shit. Got it. Okay, cool. I got the guy's head. Let's 
Take a trip. Where does this take me? Bonus! I tried. I'm gonna try again. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Just don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. Get the life. That's cool. mean to do that. Let's try that again. No, I, I just got time to jump, I guess. Hmm. be able to time this somehow. I guess I could try jumping to the left. That might... Because I don't know how I survived that, that one time. Okay, yeah, now that I guess that's how that works. Alright, that makes more sense. jumped. Whoops. I'm learning. <laughs> Definitely learning. Okay. Alright. I think I got this bonus stage figured out. Just getting it correctly now. Uh, okay. Just gotta get the timing right now.
Okay. So you do have the whole A when you're... Okay. Hmm. Alright. Get the life. Activate the TNT. Man, this timing's not perfect. But the bonus stage just doesn't seem that hard. It's It seems doable. Let's... Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Activate that. Oh, come on! The box killed me? That's a cheap death. Come on. <laughs> Alright. Let's stop pathetically dying. Come on now. Straightforward game, it's not. Get the life. Hit the TNT. If I could jump better. Oh, come on. That's twice now I've done that. I think I'm getting a little impatient with the bonus stage, but bear with me. Here we go. Nope. I need, I need to be on that box just a little longer. Alright. Got the life. Why is it not hitting it fast enough? Oh, come on. That was embarrassing. I'll give us a few more tries. I just gotta make sure I get enough lives. That's the goal. Got it. Okay. That was dumb of me. Hmm. All right, life. Okay, got that. All right. Go. Oh, 
Oh, what the f Okay. Did I not have myself lined up? I thought I had myself lined up. Come on. Life. TNT. You're gonna explode. Get the lives. that go away explodes all that oh come on how did I miss oh because there's a Four boxes. I thought it was three. That's where I screwed it up. Okay. Get that. Get that. Your TNT. You're about to explode! Well, the one TNT box could explode the other one, so there's no need to detonate the other ones. Well, you know, the, the best part about this bonus stage is it allows me to practice the TNT bullshit. I'm able to figure out the TNT as I go. Hmm. Unless I gotta hit that. Okay. Try and figure out that middle section now. Definitely gotta move on here. Nope, jump too soon.
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I need to do. So I think what I'm gonna do is just get the lives and just move on. I've been at this bone stage for way too long. Three lives, that's what matters. Okay, now I gotta tackle these birds. Oh, I didn't want to do that. messed up. Uh, Alright, this is the end. That part was a bit difficult. Okay. Hmm. 
trying to figure out how the hell I got to another checkpoint already. Man, this guy's throwing from fucking far. What the hell? Yeah, alright, game over. GG. It happens. No, I don't want to restart the level. We tried. That's what matters. Alright. Let's actually get back to the actual adventure. With that said, I gotta use the bathroom, so I'll be right back. Alright? Bear with me. Do 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 All right, I'm back. Oh, I'm getting a little sweaty, so I'm gonna turn the fan on. You're gonna hear a fan in the background. Hopefully, the fan's not too distracting. If it is, I'm sorry. All right, so let's resume where we were with Crash Bandicoot One. Let's go to the next stage. Jungle Rollers. Okay. Look at that. Hopefully I wasn't missing a box up there. Yeah, you skunks. Upgraded mass, there we go. get up there. I see something up there. Hmm. Interesting. It's 
lot of skunks. Okay, so I got the bonus stage for her. Alright, let's see how good this bonus stage is. Five more boxes, it says. Got it. Yeah, it says I'm missing three boxes. Probably has something to do with that switch above. I don't know how to get to it. Oh well. I'm not here to 100% complete it, I'm just here to basically complete it and play it. At least there's only three boxes, Crash. Next stage. The stages are definitely interesting. You know, it's a very 2D uh, platform of the day. All right, another bonus stage. Here we go. Too bad. Damn, still missing nine boxes somehow. Oh well. It is what it is. Crash, I'm sorry. Boom, 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 boom. 
<laughs> All right. Next stage, Boulder. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Checkpoint. How did I miss? Oh, come on. There we go. Got the gem. Which means no boxes were missing, so that's good. No key, though. Oh, well. All right, upstream. Here we go. Checkpoint reached. Ooh, barely made that. Got my first. Oh no, I got two of them ready. Okay. Platforming like a champ. Time for a bonus stage. Get on the bonus stages consistently. Right. 
Oh, I'm missing three boxes somewhere. Oh well. We tried. Ba ba ba. Poor crash. Okay, so just give a quick update. We're basically playing until we get to the first boss. We'll get through the first boss, and then we're gonna switch to Elden Ring. So, because we we spent a fair amount of time on Crash Bandicoot, I think. So, let's see if we can finish up with the boss. All right, Papu Papu. I just got to jump on him. Okay. He's pretty straightforward. I'm just glad the boss is not broken like Glover 64 or Steam. That was easy, boss. I like how Crash just jumped up using his stomach. That's kind of funny. Coco's time machine. What? You want her to join your adventure? Sure. Oh, so we could swap heroes. Huh. Now I can play Coco. Interesting. Oh. Okay, it's cool. Well, since we unlock Coco, why not? Let's just have fun. That was terrible jumping. Booga booga. -ba. Actually, you know, it would be kind of cool if Coco would have had, like, Crash Bandicoot's move sets from, like, two or three in the first game. Because that could kind of make the game a little easier or accommodate for speedrunners of some kind. I don't know. Just rambling at the moment. Hold no. If you five minutes with Coco, spin. Huh. So that's all the boxes. Now 
There we go. Got all the boxes. Hmm. That was cool. We're actually not through the first island yet, even though we beat the boss. But I think we'll leave it right there. So we're gonna switch to Elden Ring. Crash Bandicoot was fun to play, but let's let's change it up. Yes. All right. Cool. So that was Crash Bandicoot. That was fun. But now we're going to switch to Elden Ring. Done. Come on, switch to Elden Ring. There we go. Okay. Elden Ring time. Right? Right. Alright. Elden Ring. Here we go. I know last time I played was December 4th, 2023. So, I did start it, but I think we'll just start a different character go from there. That's pretty white. Okay. Now it's black. Okay. There we go. Elden Ring. Okay. Continue. Because I have a character. I know I established a character early on. Yeah. It's a samurai that... I sort of adapted from the character I played previously. There we go. Yeah, so the character design's a little bit off from my character from the Xbox save, but yeah, we haven't gone that far. God, it's been forever since I played. I gotta try to remember the controls now. Alright. Wandering Samurai with shield and sword. Okay, I don't know what caused that. That was weird. Alright, so I haven't really made much progress. The boss is still alive there. Uh, I'm level 12. Okay. Wait, what's my... S Sorry. So, I have 12 Vigor, 11 Mind, Endurance and Strength are 14, Dexterity is 15, Intelligence 9, Faith and Arcane are 8. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can try to take out the boss, maybe? Might be asking too much, but we'll see what we can do. All right, come at me, boss. Time to grind. Yep, come on. I know that strat. Hmm. I feel that attack. 
Ooh. Rest and dip. That happened. That definitely happened. Hmm. I don't have rune arcs, so I can't get full health health yet. I didn't have much runes there. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, I only have 37. Okay, so do a bow and arrow. What is going on with the graphics here? Yeah, not sure why it's doing that. That's freaky. Let me... Let me restart. I just wonder what that black screen was about. Maybe that might be the reason. Let's see what default looks like. Okay, full screen. Everything's just high. I want my motion blur on. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. Let's hope let's hope that fixed that. So let's keep going. Are we going to we flick it anymore? No, it doesn't look like we're flicking anymore. Alright, good. No, we are. What the hell is causing that? That's weird. I don't remember doing that either. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to do some souls fashion for a moment. But I don't got much going on. Just remember that now. Okay. Took me a second. Thought there was something else I could do. That that was that was it. All right. So there's still caves we could go explore, and other things. Okay. Speaking of which. So I, I do have the map unlocked to a certain point. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot we could still grind through. There's a lot of graces I still need to go find. Caves to explore and such. For the rogue to Moog. 
Rogue Bogue. Moog Road. There we go. I'll just front parry the shit out of you. Thank you. Okay. To make it that easy. Hmm. Now. Okay. Yep, I definitely forgot how to play this game. That's not good. Come on. Time to do some sneak sneak. Ow. Bastard. I think I was gonna reach him, but I reached him. Goodbye. Did I go down here yet? I must have very opened the map. Yep. All right. Okay, so let's do the outskirts and then meet the guy in the middle just because of how weak I feel. I don't want to get overwhelmed. I'm not ready to handle two guys at once. Not what, not what they said. Okay, now. I know where, you, I know where the inner goes with that. Lock that grace yet. That's fine. Get rid of this guy. Go around. 
down. Hmm, let me grab that skull. I'm covered in blood. Woo! Come on. There we go. Smithic stone one, that's helpful. All right, so that chest has been opened. I think there's three more dudes I need to fight. Come on. Yep, got rid of that guy. Yeah, that knight just didn't give a shit about you. It's kind of funny and sad at the same time. Everyone's wasted, but that guy. Don't got a lot of health. This is gonna end badly. Hmm. Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ugh. Go stab that guy. They're all awake now. Yeah, I can't all handle all those dudes yet. Very sucks. There we go.
No. I figured. GG. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna call it here. Yeah. Uh, whoop, whoop. Jump scare. Jump scare. Okay. I don't know why I did that. But it does that from time to time, I guess. Bit weird. Alright. I'm gonna call there Twitch. I'm getting hungry. That's the only reason why I'm calling it sooner than I want to. Um, this was fun. Did about... Almost... Three hours. We did about two and a half. Thank you for MTF Blaze for stopping through. Watching uh, the stream for, for a bit. Um, like I said, Saturday we'll, we'll go back to our normal scheduled streams. But that won't be till the following Saturday. So next Saturday I'm going to be off. But the following Saturday I'll be back. So. Just how things are. Once the job situation gets consolidated. Once I'm just doing UPS and not Hanford. This will be a lot easier. I can do a little bit more streaming in the week depending how i feel but we'll get to that point soon enough otherwise for now we'll still be scheduled one day a week so but hey if you go to my youtube channel now the next video should be uploaded so let me just show you real quick so if we get to youtube there it is Luke Goon Holdup is up right now. So, it's the next seven days uh, I video I have up right now. So if you guys want to see this, it's out on YouTube. So that's cool. But, alright Twitch, thanks for watching, thanks for joining me. Hope this was fun. We'll stream again soon enough. I would recommend go check out Mad Toy SR. He's live right now. He's playing through Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door on Switch. He's, gonna be having, he's probably having a lot of fun right now. Or they're having a lot of fun right now. Sorry. Um, they are they and them. They are binary, non-binary. So just, you know, go support them if you can. But, alright. Tom tries to sign up for now. I'll see you guys in the next stream. Catch me here. Catch me on YouTube. Uh, catch me on TikTok, so. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>